Hi, this is Yan Huang, and today I'm going to explain how to drastically speed up your website, especially if it's a, a dynamic website, such as one installed on WordPress or uh, custom PHP, or really any uh, popular kind of content management or e-commerce uh, platform, because these days, I would say around 99% of websites do run on PHP. Um, so what you want to do is increase the memory limit on your PHP. So uh, I have WHM installed, and WHM is kind of, if you've uh, signed up for web hosting, this is a control panel. Well, WHM is the control panel for your control panel. And in there, if you have your own server, you'll be able to uh, uh, increase the uh, memory directly from WHM. I'll show you how to do that, as well as give you some guidance. So if uh, you are uh, maybe possibly uh, stuck, you'll still be able to, um, to, to make this happen. So if you do have WHM, uh, there is a software uh, that uh, is installed in most WHM deployments called Multi-PHP uh, INI Editor. INI stands for, I think, Initializer or Initiation. And this basically will um, help you edit your PHP.INI file, which stores all of the configurations for PHP, which is the interpreter that, um, that processes your website's code, PHP code, and displays it in the front end for your users. So once you're in WHM, type in PHP, and you'll probably see a tab similar to this. Go ahead and uh, scroll down to where it says memory limit. And what you want to do is increase that from usually a lot of defaults set at 32 um, M, which is 32 megabytes. A lot of shared web hosting accounts has, have very low um, uh, memory limits by default and also if you are on shared hosting they may or may not let you uh, edit this uh, because they want to keep a cap so no, no one user uh, hogs up all the resources on the server so if you do have a website that is making money I highly recommend you get a uh, virtual private server uh, or VPS or get a dedicated server now what I recommend is uh, go to yan41.com and click onto the host gator um, sometimes if you go through that link, you'll get a, a discount and you'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to help you migrate your website as well as, um, help you get all this set up and, um, and you could probably send in a support ticket. Uh, so the systems administrators from, uh, HostGator can just, uh, do it for you. But, uh, the first step is to move out of shared hosting. Um, and once you're out of shared hosting, you want to make sure that your configurations allows your website, the which is your vehicle of making money, uh, you, know, you want to maximize its performance. Um, so this is basically how you would do it. Now think of it this way. Think of it as if you have a really, really slow computer and you're trying to open up, let's say, Microsoft Word or something simple, it's, it's going to take a while. But if you have a, a really modern computer with a lot of resources, it's you know, virtually instantaneous. And that's what you want for your website. That, that's what you want for your website visitors and not just for your website visitors but also search engines nowadays take that as a metric uh, as far as how well your website ranks in in the search engine so yeah, there's a lot of different incentives for you to uh, do this also different software especially on the e-commerce side uh, they may just time out if there's not enough system resources allocated to uh, 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 to, to that um, uh, process so uh, this is how you would do it through WHM. Um, if you don't have access to WHM, ask your web hosting provider uh, of where you can go to edit the PHP.ini file. Um, in here, there's also an editor mode. So I'll show you kind of how if you don't have a uh, multi-PHP INI editor installed, um, basically your file will look something similar to this. So if I type in memory limit, um, you want to make sure you have something like this uh, set up. Now, don't copy the value that I have. On this server, there's 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it's only dedicated to one website. The reason I'm only allocating half is because the server itself needs uh, memory to do other things, so I don't want one uh, PHP file or process to basically just uh, crash the server. So I've allocated roughly half of the uh, available resources, which is probably what I would recommend as well if that's the uh, server for just uh, one uh, website, which is 
should be your primary uh, website or um, or I guess it could be a secondary one but the dedicated website uh, on that server um, so this is basically how, how you would uh, do it um, again if you are using HostGator uh, then you can probably just send in a support ticket to have them help you out um, if uh, you're not on HostGator or if you're on shared hosting I highly recommend upgrading to a VPS or a dedicated server so you do have this capability because um, at the end of the day, especially if you're making money uh, through your website, you don't want um, something as trivial as this to uh, basically compromise any um, income that's uh, come in because visitors either run to a website error because it's too uh, because um, there's not enough resources allocated, so the website essentially crashes, or uh, it's just really a really slow user experience and your audience leaves. So this, in a nutshell, will give you a drastic uh, performance increase uh, on your website, especially if it's running on some kind of PHP uh, platform, including WordPress or um, or Magento or pretty much any modern uh, CMS or e-commerce platform. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have, uh, feel free to chime in the comments below. Um, uh, feel, and also uh, like this video as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel.